Kerbig and Kamoi Latu share a love for football. It brought them together and eventually to Wisconsin. But their bond, or as they like to call it, a brotherhood, goes beyond the sport. And it starts in their home state of Hawaii. Pressure from Herbig and Nick Herbig throws him down. A long way from Camp Randall. Throws and it's intercepted by Kamoi Latu. Football brought Nick Herbig and Kamoi Latu together in high school. When did you know that you guys would be best friends? I mean, we, we really just met like summer, summer of football, our, our freshman year. Uh, Nick was new. All these guys like know each other and so they're all in their little cliques or whatever and I'm just over there like by myself with my grandpa like before practice like sitting up against the fence. And the two were inseparable until college when Nick left Hawaii for Wisconsin. The night before Nick left me and him had like a little bro bro date uh, at one of our favorite spots we like to eat at. And Kamoi went to Utah. And we would FaceTime every day, <laughs> every night. Two years later. We just wanted to play uh, football together as long as we could. Um, and, you know, the opportunity presented itself, and my guy just gave him a call and told him, like, man, like, I, I think this is a place for you. How much convincing did Nick have to, you know, get you to come here? We would joke around about it. I will be like, what's up? Like, I will tell Nick, like, what's up? Like, tell your coaches, like, what's <laughs> up? Like, <laughs> but, you know, even to this day, we, like, we'll talk about it, like, man, it doesn't even really feel real that, like, we're here, the same college, playing together. Living together. We share a room. Yeah, we share a room. And sharing their culture. My mom made spam musabis for the whole team uh, on the airplane, and I think that was like something special that I wanted, that we wanted to do, but uh, just to give somebody like people a taste of like kind of things we eat. Look at the bag. It's a blessing to share, you know, our, our culture and the way we live in Hawaii, and I feel like that plays a big part, you know, in uh, me and Nick, you know, just keep moving forward, you know, with, with football and, you know, with school. That keeps a drive under us because we know we come from a special place. The game day fit that you guys wore, mm -hmm. I think you've worn it more than once, yeah. but I saw a picture of you two wearing it. How much pride do you have in wearing that? Dressing him up in, you know, my cultural attire, you know, it meant a lot. Like, even before we stepped off the bus, like, seeing Nick walk in front of me, I was just, my eyes were watering. You know, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just something special, you know, just, uh, family. Uh, I don't even think blood can make us closer um, and just getting his blessing for him and his his grandma and his his dad you know kind of just all of them letting me know like you can wear this like go ahead uh, you know kind of meant a lot to me. And this family is now representing Hawaii on college football's biggest stage. You know just because we're from Hawaii just because we're from a little island with 60,000 people like you can still do it. It doesn't matter where you come from like you if you work hard, man, and you dream big, that anything's possible. You know, I'm, I'm living proof. So you ball out in high school, you're balling out in college. What's next? That would be, that would be such That'd a be dream. Crazy. You know, if we're on the same NFL team, probably be living together again. <laughs> Maybe not sharing a room. You know, I'm probably want my own room. But <laughs> yeah, he yeah. snores too loud. Pressure from Herbig. Down goes Annex. Dead courtesy of Nick Herbig. Just two kids from small, small islands in the middle of the ocean, you know, spreading our culture. You know, it's a blessing. Down he goes. Come on, you want to. On the